<laughs> like your the dad mentality almost. Yeah. Like you can almost see it. Like it just it's on now, you yeah. know? <clears throat> For sure. That's so cool. That's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is good. Boy. Wait, where's the Hey. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like um really forces you to um to smash when you have the time. It's like okay, like now <clears throat> it's like I'm needed for things because mm. of the kid, but it's like all right, when the kid doesn't need anything, this is my time to smash and get things done in my life. Right, you have a window of opportunity. Yeah. So it's like I Just always check. have to grab that opportunity. It's like, what am I going to do? Am I going to work on something? Am I going to whatever, 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 clean something? Right. Am I going to play a video game? I'm like, whatever. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Yep. So what do you want to, what do you want to dive into today? I feel like there's a lot to talk about, but honing into something. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we got dust, dust. in the works. Like, we're building the world now that it lives in. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is going to be it's so random. It's so random. It's amazing. Like, we were going to be like, what is this? Do you think... Um... That dust. Like, I'm wondering what's what's still going to be the thing, I guess, once dust is alive. Like, what do you mean the thing? What? Because people dupes, you know, they, that's the yeah. thing right now. Dupes. Like, right. Oh, dupe, man. It's dupe but day. Here we go. Dupes. <laughs> <laughs> but dupes are that that issue only comes up when there's <clears throat> drops, right? Which is technically only Fridays, but the last two weeks have been much longer. Well, any, right? anytime yeah, you get street. community coins or tournament coins too, not right. necessarily just drops, but yeah. Yeah, I, but tournament coins are like never. Yeah. Well, personally, <laughs> I've known people to come to me and be like, "I've I've already gotten dupes in this tournament coin chest, and it's so rare." I'm like, just sit on the coins. That's that's one of my that's one of my options I give them. I'm like you, you got like three options. You just keep getting pissed and, yeah. and opening the chest. You save your coins and, and sit on. But this on is what's them, gonna happen. Or you like, this is I guarantee this is what happens. Okay, nobody's gonna complain about dupes anymore. What people are gonna complain about? That's what I'm wondering. Is not dupes. Oh shit. Well, it's not gonna be not dupes. You're gonna it's want gonna dust be, or like yeah. It's hard like, to get it's dust. Like, I want dust now. Just give me dust. Why aren't you dropping dust? Mm. Why am I going through the process of getting dupes and then dusting? Like people are gonna say that. I bet, I bet you that's what it's gonna be. But it's it's gonna be so it satisfying reminds me of, like, for some a lot of us. Stupid path that you gotta take in in like GTA to like get something. It's like oh, you gotta go across town over here and grab a spray paint can to go over here and grab. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a mission, man. It's a mission. Yeah. It's the dust mission. Okay. <laughs> Operation well, think Dust. Think about this. Actually, like games like Escape from Tarkov, I know you don't play, but e I think you're aware of the ecosystem, kind of how it plays out. And mm -hmm. the cycle's been adopting a little bit of that framework in terms of like, you go out, you get stuff, you come back to your hub and do stuff with it, right? Mm. Store it, sell it, whatever you're going to do. Speaking of which, uh, sorry to cut don't you off. Speaking of which. <laughs> There's always an idea that's sparking. You got to be careful when you talk around me. <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to create a similar thing for us. Is like you go out into the community. You attain certain things from either different events, right? Tournament mm -hmm. coins, community coins, all this stuff. And you bring it back to the hub and you deal with it. And you craft stuff. And eventually, like, I can see this evolving into a massive thing like maybe it involves into a game afterwards like a, an app game and we just go crazy with it right but i think that's where it leads this all leads it's a long path it's not gonna be like a snap of fingers it drops it's all there it's gonna be like years of development dude what if oh man like two ideas just three ideas just smashed in my brain i forgot the first one but uh <laughs> um <clears throat> 
it's so random, but it was just like, oh, imagine um, like a, a one versus one fashion show on the app. Like people could enter into a fashion show through the app because that's where you dress your ball up or whatever. Someone else jumps in too, and then everyone else on the app sees what's going on and they can vote on who wins. With dust. With dust. Oh shit! <laughs> it's over. No, that's actually a good idea. Like legit. You you, you essentially line up in the app and everybody can vote for the winners. Right. And you don't see It's names. like King of the Hill. It's just like happening and people get shoved in and voted for it. Yeah. <clears throat> that could be a lot of fun. Could be a lot of fun. Fashion shows. <sighs> You're getting my heart pumping. Sorry. It's the G Fuel too. No, it's not that at all. Oh. That doesn't get my heart pumping at all anymore. It's the Spoo Fuel. Mm. We still have to get a ball washing mm. system up and running, right? That's a whole nother thing. I don't even know where to start. Like, I want to start developing it, but I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. It's challenging. I've never covered a ball in dirt. Dirt. You have that dirt ball, though. No, that is a ball of dirt, not a ball covered in dirt. <laughs> what if? <laughs> I got nothing. You have something. I was going to say throw dirt at the screen. <laughs> Just like you tell people Wait, to the screen. screen's dirty? It's like, ah, you've come to my ball washing no, station, but like first, actual I need to clean my screen. Physical dirt in real life. It's a stupid... That is I stupid. had no answer. Yeah. Will you tell us to scream at a ball if it's not doing well, and that's stupid? <laughs> Look, I'm not dead. I, I don't know. I've been saying that in a long time, okay? I've been propelling that idea in a long time. Mm. Yeah, too many people were actually screaming at their monitors. I, I did. I did, too. Hey. It, Tony just said, if you zero out, your loadout becomes the dirt <clears> ball. <throat> the dirt So ball. you just become dirt. You're just a dirty ball. Dude, imagine your ball got so dirty and clumped full of dirt that it, like, rolled it all roll? crapped up. It, was like, it wasn't like a ball anymore? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's possible. I don't it's possible. Know. But that's the so remember you used well, actually it didn't it didn't enhance anything. But you used to be the do the ball on fire thing when people got multiple points in a row. It's like yeah. the reverse. So you do bad, you could get dirted up and go slowly. Ball on dirt. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been dirted. Yeah. Interesting. You, so you know what I've learned? I've learned basically anything we say on this show will be propelled through the community as a rumor anything like we could come up with anything and somebody will take that idea and propel it through the community and say it's Dude, coming next i season. heard <clears throat> that drops were gonna just start being one community coin or one tournament coin at a time yeah would they and one hour yeah one, one hour, hour. but it's just like yeah. forever never stops just non-stop coins yeah every hour shabba be prepared yeah get ready <clears throat> I went to like uh, design a no sleep uh, machine. A no sleep machine. Wait, is that yeah, for like, where it holds your head up, and then your body can just like melt? <laughs> <laughs> so you're hanging yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm creating a machine. It just holds me up by my neck. <laughs> You gotta have the spoon neck for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize what I was explaining. Maybe, that. I mean, yeah, I guess if it was up here, you wouldn't <laughs> choke, right? If it was like around, yeah, you you'd not, have to you'd have be your chin and your jawline. And you're not dropping yourself, right? That's part <laughs> oh, of the okay. process. Oh, okay, you're still, okay. We're not, we're not dropping ourselves into it. It's just- And you're not actually like sleeping. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, you're just going limp, but you're staying awake. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, 
and then there could be like a little like twitch like a twitch <clears throat> impact that like it helps you drop your ball so you just be like right it's like clicking the buttons oh, on the sides oh nice so you don't have to move your hands do you think if your you hands did that can also for, be melted if humans if we did that and humans did that for like millions of years right yeah. we evolve some arms <laughs> It's a serious question. Maybe <laughs> maybe our ears would grow longer and get pushy. <laughs> oh man. Oh dude. <clears throat> I'll take that as a yes. A hundred percent, man. You gotta get more efficient. Or would our bodies or would somebody just be born as a head? Oh. Because it's being limp, right? The rest of it. And I then yeah, and then you grow arms here, and your wieners here. <laughs> <laughs> we just become heads with arms and legs sticking out. <laughs> this is terrible. Who needs the the rest like of the body? Mr. Potato just waste. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. <sighs> hey. Hey. Um. <laughs> Uh, um so I haven't talked to you about about Marble Fest ideas yet. Marble Fest Marble Fest <clears throat> Cause uh Well I don't know, maybe maybe I shouldn't do this on Raw. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. You hurt people's feelings? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's it's like kind of exciting. Yes. <laughs> yep. It's always yep. gonna be hurt feelings, man. Uh, no matter what you do, there's gonna be hurt feelings. That's a so fact. like. Do I, should I turn don't the know. Volume up for this? I no. <laughs> I don't know if we're still trying to do like a <clears throat> every month type of a thing. But if we are, and then I'm also thinking about what you had set up, like the back and forth two day thing, as opposed to all night. But I don't know if I necessarily want to overlap things. Maybe for one, but not for the other. Because I'm thinking of kind of like two Marble Fests. One that's built solely around the community and for the community. And then another one that's just for like grabbing people in other communities that have played marbles before. Showing them our community and like, you know, just mixing the communities up. So more of like a, I don't know, whatever that is. Um... So yeah, that's my idea. And then having like six on one day, six on the other day, Saturday, Sunday, boom, boom. Um, so twelve streamers each show. Yeah, but the community one, like so, so in the community one, I'm thinking since, um, like I want to build the other one to be like insane, hype, huge, whatever. So I don't really necessarily want segments to overlap, even though that's kind of how fests tend to work. But I'd rather just have it go straight in a row. So six one day, six the next day. And then the community fest, depending on how how it's set up, who's doing it. Like, maybe that could be an overlapping one. Because, you know, that's kind of what we're used to in the community anyway. But <clears throat> for this other one, I don't know if it would be received well by randoms. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts right now. No, I, yeah, like, <clears throat> I love it. I love the ideas. I'm just thinking, like, to get to that one month thing, where there's a few, like, wheels that need to be greased. Well, and what are you talking about, like, behind the scenes with balls and everything? And, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I was also thinking, in terms of that, community, the community fest could be tournament coins or whatever. And then we could still do the two every other month marble fest until you get the wheels turning and more ball, like, it's a community fest ball and then a mm. mega fest ball or whatever you want to call it. A community fest ball and an out of community fest ball. <clears throat> I don't know. Or it's the same ball to Marble Fest. That too. Yeah. Set up differently because, you know, a community fest is definitely going to be different than a 
I, I assume the community fest, I want it to be more of a what it is kind of right now, you know, chill. Some people are hyped, some people are chill. It's all over the place. But then this other one is like <clears throat> more of a themed, just like it's always going to be a, a hype party, like whatever. Like a more um, showy, more showy show. Yeah. yeah, like the other one, it's like whatever people can sit there, roll marbles, chat, talk about the history. Mar like, I love that stuff. I think that's great. And I think the community does it really well. And then the other one is meant for <clears throat> like pulling more people into the community, basically. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I think it's a good uh, direction ahead, like goals to hit. For sure. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong thing over here. Wrong thing? Yeah, the uh, the redeems. We got, we got a couple rolls mm -hmm. in here. But yeah, I mean, uh, stuff to think about for you. I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about I mean, if you want to talk about it later, too. Cause, cause yeah, I mean, like, for me, it's that. just my brain's going through like the support side of things right is like just making sure balls yeah. prizes and yeah. like the event still stay special right because that's the well the the handing of stuff out is like those logistics can be a pain especially every yeah, i want to get that sorted yeah i think like i'm getting closer and closer to like just having a solution for distribution out so not just for marble fest but in general mm -hmm. if there's a way we can like package up something and put it under the streamer's control in a way and then the streamer can pick a collection of names that get those assets i think that would be really good i just go yeah we gotta think of how to do it yeah but yeah once that's solved it, the mm -hmm. the events can just we can turn up the dial again Do you want to tap some of those raws? Yeah, <clears throat> I was just going to say, I like what's going on now with, with all the events. I'm going to think of one to do. Like with the supported events? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it's good to bring it back. I think it's a good time to bring it back. Yeah. And it's easy peasy. It's Some people is... have reached out to me about it. It's just like, I'm just tell them. It's in the Discord right there. Easy peasy. Yeah. Little form to fill out and everything. And then it gets people, too, if they want to do it, it gets them looking at their Twitch tracker, too. And I think that's really good. Like, some people will show them that yeah. site or whatever. The site's so good. For it's a hand-dandy tool. Woo! Like gifting skins similar to Stream Raiders? Uh, well, we want to do that. Hell, yeah. But that's not the same. Hmm. Or maybe it is the same. Because I know they do their like, the skinathons and stuff. I don't know how that works. So maybe it works. What's the current stance on stream teams having their own skin in game? <laughs> I mean, in what context? I don't know. Never been a thought. Like, I don't put brands in the game, right? I don't put the branding of a of people in the game anymore. Yeah. We just build stuff. So, like, technically, the squad fan marble is a stream team thing but the word squad fam is just so general it's like yeah anybody can have a squad fam i don't even think you could trademark squad fam because it's literally like two just two general words yeah so i was like okay no problem easy peasy yeah. so i mean if you have two general words as your stream team name then we can make a, a a ball with those two words if you win. Ass clowns. Yeah, totally. We'll have ass clowns. <laughs> well, I wouldn't use the words. I would have Tom create the ass, ass clown, clown ball. 
Tom, you take it away, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like it could be the crack guys with just like with a clown. Do yeah. we have a clown wig in the game? No. Why do we not have a clown wig in the game? There you go. <clears throat> you know the afro? Yeah. Just clown wig. Like rainbow? Yeah. You got the clown ball, the Halloween ball, that old one. Yeah. Imagine that thing had a wig. Yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> clowns with butts for faces. Ass clowns. Or no, it could just have the back, like, be a crack, like you made with the... Yeah. The little dudes. Crack in the back. Crack in the back. Just give the clown a crack and you're set. Ass clown. Yeah. Boom. Easy. Easy. So yeah, well, stream teams. Let's talk about it. I don't I didn't never made a stream team. It's it's something that like I've been thinking about purging our screw stream team and just like literally just I don't know like what to I I've never known what to do. I don't like I know people are into it, like you can get people into it and stuff, but I just like I if I'm not into it, then <laughs> how am I gonna get people into it? That's the problem is not everybody's into it. So it's not like like, Lupo's in our stream team, right? Yeah. I mean, Lupo's not even on Twitch anymore. Right. But at this rate, everybody's coming back, so. Really? Yeah. King Gathalian, he went to Facebook. Mm-hmm. Coming back, <clears throat> baby. Interesting. There's also King Richard. I have a, I have a feeling he'll probably come back, too. Hmm. But there's people that, like, they just went for the money, and I think... Once well, the contract's over Twitch's or whatever, plays. they're just like, bye. <laughs> yeah, like, look at how the plat the three platforms are developing. I mean, this is a great conversation to dive into. It's a little bit off topic, but it's like, Twitch is continuing to press forward. Like, they're always adding stuff for the live streaming ecosystem, right? Yeah. They're at least trying things. <laughs> Facebook <clears throat> is busy with Meta right now. They got a whole world of new things going on. Mm -hmm. And then you have YouTube who's figuring themselves out, some, themselves out too, and they're doing like, well, they're preparing for NFTs with clips or whatever the hell they're doing. So, like, Twitch is the only platform that's really 100% focused on live streaming. That's true. So I just think year over year, Twitch will continue adding more features for live streamers than the other platforms. And we're seeing it. Yeah, I mean, if Twitch is smart, I don't think they'll have a problem. Like, just because of what you said, it makes sense. Like, just slightly staying ahead of these of the beasts of those two yeah. beasts or whatever. You know, it's just like, oh, they're doing stuff. Okay, we'll do a little bit. Like this is like this is our main thing. So fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I would be thinking if I was Twitch. <clears throat> just stay ahead. Just keep slightly staying ahead of them. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think people are going to be coming back to Twitch, like, over time. I think Doc would have already, like, Dr. Disrespect, I think he would have already come back to Twitch if they let him. Because he sees it. He knows. Yeah. He knows where the attention is for the live streaming for the stuff that he does, right? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I think Doc... I don't watch Doc as much, but when I do, I, I can sense the... Di I don't feel as connected to the Doc when I watch him. But, I mean, maybe oh, that's just too. the Twitch yeah. thing. Because, like, I'm... I just feel connected on Twitch. It's just... It, yeah. y you feel connected on Twitch through chat. Like, you feel like a part of the stream a lot of the time. And on YouTube, you just, I just don't. <clears throat> yeah. So that's what I think. Um, but yeah, I don't think YouTube has it as bad as Facebook. In terms of? Uh, popularity, I guess. I think, yeah, I don't know. That's it, but that's just my assumption. I don't, I don't even know the stats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see, like, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, at least I can find it's harder. So Twitch, it's easy to find live streams. YouTube, it's a little bit harder. You're like, 
hell. It's all just like all this other stuff in the way or whatever. Yeah. Facebook? Like in pot I'm like, what what's going on in here? <laughs> I think you I gotta go to Facebook gaming, right? Uh I, I don't know, dude. I don't even I'm go on Facebook. Sure. I mean the problem is I don't even go on Facebook anymore, I guess. Yeah, I mean it's not really much anymore. <laughs> right? Like it just feels like a It's just there. Puke storm. There's not really any semblance of cohesion. Yes. You know? Karen competition. It's a place to go to fight with strangers. <laughs> I feel like that's every social platform. I'm not, not yeah. going to lie. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. That is but true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, YouTube, I mean, Twitch kind of does it too. It supports uh, like bigger events that people are putting on and whatnot. The bigger creators put on. Yeah, like uh, Ludwig, right? Mm-hmm. His thing that he just did. Yeah. Yep. Any changes to the points scoring next season or staying top three? Dun, dun, dun. If we get the points, I'm trying to get the points switched over to a new system. So, yeah, I mean, if that's the case, it's going to be an it's going to be another interesting season. Because it'll change it to like map length. The amount of marbles dying. Is all going to like take effect. Hmm. Yeah. Like, imagine there's a sweet spot, and it's. I'm pretty sure it was dependent on how many marbles are in the race, the way that I saw it. So, let's just say, like, there could be maps that, like, 50% death rate is more optimal than no death rate for points. Interesting. Yeah. So it's not just about speed of the map. It's about knowledge. It's not just about conducting one minute tracks all day. Oh shit. You're gonna make it. And us it's work. not just it's not just about <clears throat> uh everybody stays alive either. But the thing is, is I that need you switch, to die. <laughs> that's the point structure, which will be the first step. But what we need is a supporting XP evolution as well to match the the stuff that you want the streamer to do, right? Well, what needs to be supported about it? So, if you only incentivize the the tracks you want to play on the viewer side. From the viewer perspective. Oh, I didn't then realize the we were talking about this one. Viewer side to begin with. Where are you? Well, you were saying you want to finish a track with like 50% death rate. Isn't that on the streamer side? Like the streamer would get experience from that? Or. But we're talking about points. Yeah. But how does this affect, how does that affect the racer? So as a racer, you want 50% of the people to die and then you get more yeah. points when you get first place from that? Or when you get in the top, when you get it, in the points, there's more points being distributed. If a certain thing happens on a certain map or, or whatever. Not incentive, not, no, not a certain thing. It's just like there's death rates that could change that. Like the, in the equation that all plays in. Right? Mm. So what if you find a map that outputs insane from a certain death rate or whatever? Yeah. And then you're like, let's just do this track over and over because... It gave us the juice. Well, then do that over and over. Give me the juice. But there's no play again button, so it's not optimal. Yeah. Okay, but uh, so this is so that's happens. for the racing side, no, 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 no. and you were about no, to go no, no. into the streaming no. side. I was, I was, I thought Listen. you were talking about the streamers at first, and now I'm on track. <laughs> and you were gonna, uh, just about to talk about the streamers, 
Now I get yeah. it. What's going well, on with the races? I talked about the streamers. I said there needs to be a system for the streamers as well to right. incentivize that's similar That's what you actions. started at. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if you But were... I also finished at that. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Press the pixel button to it. Where is yeah. that? Oh. Maybe. Mega oh, Mega oh, no, hey, Pixel! Oh, no, there it is. Pixel! <laughs> oh, but... Um, so, based on that, right? Based on those changes, I think the random, the quick GP button becomes meta. I mean, yeah, probably. Tony's winning. It already is meta, kind of. Yeah, I mean, just picking 16 tracks and going. Like, yeah, you might get an extra couple minutes or whatever. Here well, and there. time doesn't matter. Right? right if time doesn't matter why well, oh well, i'm talking about now but yeah if time doesn't matter in the future it's going to be even more meta yeah everyone's talking about meta but have you met a lady <laughs> <laughs> i saw that was a tweet it was a good one. Ah, oh, that is good <clears throat> everyone out here talking about metas but have you met a lady <laughs> See, Tony says like sometimes they last three minutes. And that's that's, crazy. A, that's a great Still length, first. man. That is a great length. Yeah, three minutes is a good. They'll be satisfied. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Oh, I'm terrible, dude. Um. But yeah, that button, it, it, I mean, I agree, it's legendary. And then you're not, like, as a streamer, racers might not notice it as much, but as a streamer, running the same tracks over and over, you know, you notice it. And I mean, it can sure. be good. You get a, a lot of nice shots of things because you remember where stuff is, but, like, that, that quick refresher of 16 races you've never done is, like... Well, look at the way Tony does it, right? Like, well, he got through all the maps in, like, a week. Yeah. Right? So by the end of the season, technically, if we create that button where like it it evolves, so like every time you go through the set series, it starts again, kind of idea. He could do that three times in a season, get to know a lot of maps, get to know a lot of new creators, and like you literally just, and then you farm up some favorites, and then you can go through favorites for like an event or something. I created a challenge in my head while you're while you're saying all that. Okay. Uh, what was that guy that w went against the machines? It was one of those tall tales. He's like, he's the miner. He's like, oh, 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 and he went against John, John, John something. John, John Smith. Wick. John Wick. No, well, it could have been him. Um, John Henry. That's the one. So it's the John Henry challenge. All the builders, they keep trying to build tracks to defeat Tony, and Tony just keeps hitting the quick, the quick. 16 button and all the track builders they just keep uploading maps and like we can't he's got he's gonna get to the end he keeps hitting the button and the builders he's keep it up yeah yeah that, that's an idea i know this is the stupid shit i come up with <laughs> ah! it would be cool to see these kinds of things like play out like to try them mm -hmm. like, i wish things were like i wish we could just you know oh man you're telling me so, I was, I was just, just talking about out. it on stream the other night. Like, there's so many things that I want to do, but they, they're like a long time commitment. And it's like, there's just all these other things I want to do. So you have to like really can commit. Yeah. For, and it's, it, mo it mostly has to do with, with the marble seasons. Like, not necessarily grinding, but grinding is one of them. And then all these other things that are like ideas that I have of doing things for the whole season. Yeah. So like, that's a whole season commitment. <sighs> struggles the real struggle is is all the other things that you want to do that's the real struggle mm -hmm. and not being able to like hone in on one thing mm -hmm. i think that's everybody's weakness yeah like it's my weakness too like i want to game sometimes i just want to freaking sink my brain into a game and just consume it right mm -hmm. and it's just like but when you're like when you know there's things that need to get done at the same time during the gaming you're like 
oh, I need to be doing this stuff, right? So you're not 100% into it? Like, you're, like, kind of in? It's just tough. It's tough, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's funny because you'll see people justify, like, them not grinding marbles or whatever because they'll say, I have a life outside of marbles. You know, I have... <laughs> I, I do things. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like yeah. We all we all do things, and that's what's so hard about it. Is like it's a it's a huge commitment, man. Like to do certain things is a huge commitment, and not just marbles. It's like the other stuff Anything. I'm talking about too. Like the ideas I have that I I think will take multiple weeks to do. It's like yeah. Ugh. And if you want to become like an avid outdoorsman or something, yeah. You have to spend all day you outdoors, drop everything. Means you're never spending time inside. Yeah. And I'm sure there's, you know, I want to catch up on that Netflix show or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what you want to do and become proficient at, it's the full other command. things are going to get pain. Yeah. But I also think that's really beneficial in today's day and age with, like, you know, if with content creators and niches and stuff. Like, you find one thing that works for you and you just blast off to space with it, like, just crushing it with that one thing. And that's yeah. that's how people blow up. They find that one thing that works, and boom. Yeah, and you can lean in these days. <clears throat> now, what holds up during this state of the world? I don't know. Yeah, but you gotta grind harder during these times. That's the only thing I know. Yeah. So what'd you say about the the changing to the scoring? It, it would happen if something, or you're waiting for something? Uh, so the changing to the scoring, yeah, we need to get, <clears throat> there's a certain functionality we're trying to get in so that we can, it's just a better way of storing data, essentially. So if we get that in, then I can put in the new system because it'll it'll just work better. Mm. Um, so yeah, then that'll be the point system, and then it'll be about converting the XP system at some point. And then we go from there. Mm. So I'm hoping points at least next season are changed. But I still want to keep that tight top end. Like maybe even you could probably even do like every hundred marbles is an extra spot being paid out. So like you start off with three. Well, you do one under 10, just like it is now, or something like that, or under six. And then you do three, and then above 100, you go to four, above, right? 200, you go to five. Hmm. Yeah. But you want to keep in the top 10. Yeah, right. something like that. Yeah, I don't think it should ever go outside top 10. That's my opinion. I think the highlight, the, the like what you said, right? Like, <clears throat> it's easier to consume. Right? Yeah. And so if you keep it easy to consume, where like a thousand names equals 10 people get paid out, then you look at the top 10 and you're like, boom, that's right. where the points It's already are. on the screen. So like people will be able to consume that for a while while the race is finishing up or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. And then tilters just keep tilting their faces off. Level 46? Did he get further last time? I haven't checked it. <laughs> Did he get further? Yeah, that was the last I heard. What the hell, man? When you get the juice, it's motivating. Crazy. Hey, Glitter Eel. Guys, if you've never been to Raw, this is Monday Raw. Pixel and I just sit here and chat about random stuff, marbles, life, anything, streaming. If you guys ever have questions, you can use the Redeem. Uh, we go for about an hour, hour and a half, depending. And uh, yeah, we just hang out, hang out and chat. So welcome in if you're new. And thanks for listening to our random ramblings. We always go on a raid afterwards. Um, depending on the raw, I like to throw them up on YouTube. So yeah. More places paying out would give more encouragement to giant races. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we know that's not true. No? No. 
because even before in the old system, it's not like ra giant races were always occurring. I think, well, it's, we've talked about this before too, where it's like, I think there's just this, there's always been this stigma, no matter what changes, of this is going to help or hurt, this is going to hurt, like this is going to help big streamers, this is going to hurt small streamers, like there's always that, that feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. I think the small, I think small streams are always gonna be decent for the for the people grinding. Like it's consistent points. I think they're so important to the grind. Um, like if you talk to people that are, I guess, a viewer that are really pumping points, I guarantee you, like at, at least two of all every time they're in like in racing or in race tabs and they have four or five open at least two or three of them are like smaller streams where there's 10 to 20 people maybe always doing royales or i don't know whatever like that's where they hang out because that's the most consistent points it's like always been that way it seems and then they join in these big races for uh the chance at big points here and there but it's they're not constantly in the big races or they're not in every one of their tabs isn't big races mm. I think that's how it's always been. I, you know, this is this is just me watching, really, and and there's been a few times where I have grinded myself, but this is just me observing over the years, and that's just kind of what I've noticed. Um, now, maybe there's people that have been in huge streams and and grinded to like top ten or whatever, but I don't, I don't know. Like every one of their tabs being huge streams, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's a good thing. I think so. I mean, like, when you have the data of, like, looking how many people are racing per day and how many tabs and stuff, like, there's not a lot of people committing to the high grind, right? True. So it's like... You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's like a very fine, like... I don't know if fine. I was going to say like fine tooth, but it's not. It's like like a very small segment of the community is like cranking at a high level. Mm. <clears throat> it's true. And yeah, it just makes me want to create like this private racing league. That's but, somewhat the idea behind like the Saturday thing I do. That yeah. I want to do with redeems, you know, make it more of a serious thing. But I want to do it so that only like you almost register to be a grinder. Mm. You know, like you sign up somehow and you're registered into the into the, that leaderboard and then you race. Because <clears throat> I think it would make it more special because I think it's special. Like, I already think the grind is special. The, those who participate in it. Like it's it's a unique experience. Very much so. And not a lot of people can take it. You're consuming a lot of streams, a lot of information. Even if you're doing it just through chat, right? You're like you're still processing a lot of information. And then doing that for a long time. Like it's it's a unique experience. Definitely. Right? So why not lean into that idea? Make it make it unique. Make it awesome. And do like all these fun things with it. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that's like we're just like some ide ideations coming from that idea, like from that thinking. Yeah, well, but and it's... and like you've always said, and or we've seen uh, the like the players create the competition. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that pushes I, I don't know i'm just thinking of that with that idea that you just mentioned and it would just excel yeah so we've got the new website coming up so it's going to be done soon nice and then we'll build in like we'll build in more to it so like leaderboards and stuff but i can see like like just for an example of how this could work is you can we could do it for the people the holders of the nft because most of the people who are like in with the grind basically have it. So like you do that, you go to the website and you register, I want to participate as a grinder in season 37, right? It'd be awesome if we added up that early. It probably won't though. Hmm. Uh, you register on the website and then you're a part of like that 
the grind, right? And the game, the inner work workings of the game becomes less focused towards the seasons, but it's there, right? It's there, but all the data that's being shown is relative to the stream. But they can see the they can see the seasonal leaderboard, but it'll only show like those registered. Mm. So and then the ones that are registered for the the season, like there's a private leaderboard that or not private, but it's public, but it's private to those people, right? Right. Only they can race for it. And then like you become like that competitive race. So during a season, those those racers can go anywhere. They can race anywhere they want to, right? But people will identify the people involved in in that season as a racer. It could be really interesting. Yeah. And then everybody can kind of side grind it, right? Like they're just participating and having a good time, but they're not focused on the season. They're not competing for the main leaderboard. Yeah. Only if you're registered. Well, and I think that this is something that people are kind of afraid of. Like it, it were, it's missing now because top 50 don't get extra gem run points. You know what I mean? So it's like now creating this is going to create that sort of, competition again that i guess people are feeling like they're missing out on or something yeah. but i still think you know if there's people that are trying to go for number one as a viewer and like there's a couple people that want it like they're still gonna they're still gonna push for it but i understand the losing of that maybe incentive feeling but yeah i mean like i'm not even sure if there was really much of a competition going on on the viewer side anyways right Right, like maybe a few positions each season were fighting. Maybe like the edging at the top fifty, right? Like there yeah. was usually like a few people that were fighting a little bit there, and sometimes like for like sixty ninth or something like that, right? Yeah. But other than that, it's just like, like what's really yeah. So I think creating some sort of juicier competition, like that's gonna get the people who are, and from the past and the present who have been good at grinding or whatever, it might bring them back and be like, hey, let's, okay, best of the best jumping in here, let's go. And then, yeah, you just get the NFT to be a part of it. And you just, like, like you choose to be a part of it. I think that'll be fun. And then, yeah, like all the XP stuff or the points, like you're still earning, like all the stuff that you're doing, like basically all the stuff you're doing right now, it would still be happening. Mm. It was just that we would have a focus on the actual racers of the season. The people going for placements. Mm. Then you choose to be a part of the leaderboard kind of idea, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Here's yeah, a good yeah, example. yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how, like, when you have the battle pass? Mm hmm. Oh, I know. Like, in games, and then there's, like, the free version, and then there's the paid version. Mm hmm. Like, pretend that anybody who races is still accumulating, right? Mm hmm. But they're on the free version. Mm -hmm. And then if you have, if you, like, register for the season, you're on the paid version, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. And so you would get all those, the extended features of that. And then people would kind of like, you'd want to be a part of the season. Because what I'm seeing, this is what I, this is why I'm kind of going down this route. We're seeing about, where is it? Like, I think there's about a thousand people engaging with the grind. Technically, it looks like there's about 3,000 plus who are engaging in more than one stream. But I think that's just the culture of marbles. Mm-hmm. So, like, who's actually engaging with the grind, right? Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, and it's so intense, which makes sense, because it's a large group of people, how many of those people want to compete at a high level, right? Mm -hmm. So you take that fraction of people, and you tell them, okay, if you want to participate in the actual competition of marbles on stream seasons, like the competition competition, you register for it. And you choose to be a part of that season, and you come back each season, and this way, I think it'll also help fight bots because you'll have to register. And then if you get caught like cheating in any way, shape or form in that season, you're out like mm -hmm. you're done. <laughs> right. So then you get blocked from the system. And yeah. I think that'll be like really interesting. And then everybody's kind of like when you get a racer coming to your stream, 
they'll probably get highlighted in some way, shape or form. See, now this this is an idea that'll go through the community and people think it's happening. Right. It's one of those things, but it's not in <laughs> development. It's just an idea. Just an idea. But I think. But this is when I went on the this is like when I went on the uh, league mental rampage for a while mm-hmm. and it's, it never happened. So it's just evolving, just evolving. But yeah, I think that's I think I would, like I think it'd be really interesting. And the streamers are just rocking their streams out like. You choose to be a grinding stream or not, like just like you do now, right? Like right. If you want it, you do it. And then leaning the streamers, eventually like walking into the idea of like the streamers probably register too. I think that would be sick. Because then you have your core registered streamers that who want to participate in the high level grind. And like that's what you expect from their streams. Like that's boom. That's who I am. That's what we're doing, right? Mm-hmm. GC. Juicy. We'll let that run rampant through the community for a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Do you have any stats on usage since the new incentives have launched? Stats on usage? Like usage of the overlay? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's Lel. I don't know if she wants I to. I have stats, but... Give us the it's, stats. It's not public. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. For the game, I guess, for marbles. So marbles numbers are all up. Um, yeah, there's some interesting data points that... Let me just put it this way. I'm surprised more people aren't pushing harder with the overlay with the potential of it. But I can also understand some reasons why not. So I, I can live on both sides of the fence and understand both sides of the thinking, I think. But I'm just I'm surprised. I'm like, wow. Because to me, it's a massive opportunity. But I also understand like the other side of like, oh, you're always selling me something kind of idea, mm. right? So you, you don't want to lean into that too much. And I can understand that. So if, if somebody is like living by that perspective, it's like, okay. I know that feeling. Well, my yeah, suggestion to people yeah. who don't want to mention it all the time, maybe through live, right? Through their live voice, make commands, make videos, make tick, put it on TikTok, put it, you know, put it everywhere and like, Get it freaking everywhere. But then, I don't know, maybe that's a turn off for them, too. They don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, but I'm like, I'm proud. I'm proud that we're at this point. It's so good to see. Like, Hell yeah. like I said, overall numbers of marbles is, is up. Like, it's great. It seems like more people are engaging with marbles. I know there's a lot of promotion going on in the first week. And now we're kind of like rolling through it, but it feels like more people are just hanging around, rolling some balls, right? Once or twice a week, whatever. And just having a good time, whether it be with the Marbles community or with their community, layered with the Marbles community or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, like I'm glad. I'm really excited for the fall because I know attention comes back in the fall for like overall just streaming and stuff. Uh, and yeah, we still building. We got dust on the way and all this stuff and all this layers with everything we've built. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, more people, you know, building events and more fun things going on out there and evolutions to things. Who knows what Marble Fest will become? Yeah. The greatest ball festival. And Marble seems to be getting more attention on the global stage as well. Yeah. So, I've already got a few contacts that want to like reach out and chat a little bit more so who knows like i just i mean my ultimate goal is always just earn more like earn more for the company so that we can do more like that's it right it's like more devs more work 
more features, just more everything for everybody. Mm -hmm. So the more, you know, like, I guess the way I look at it now is like the more financial energy that comes in, the more that go the more energy that goes right back into the game. Like people that reach out and want to buy us sort of stuff. I'm always just like, I like what I do. So yeah, it's going to have to be a lot of money, son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. It's like, it's going to have to be a lot, or at least you enable us to do a lot. Right. right. So I, I think that's for me, that's an ultimate yeah, situation is like power or whatever. Like, somebody who sees what we've done with the little resources we've had up to this point and goes, I would like you to push the gas pedal yeah, and see what you can do. And that's, I think that's a dream situation for me because I don't, I don't want to stop doing this. Yeah. Like I enjoy it. Like <laughs> where other people like doing the outdoors stuff or whatever, like this is where I thrive surrounded by six monitors and just crushing it, <laughs> just consuming. And just mm -hmm. like, it's me. That's just, what i was designed to do <laughs> so well and this this can get into something raw too because it's so tough out there because there's so many people who and, and we've kind of talked about this before like they'll they'll bark that work 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 and grind 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 and there's people out there that are like bah, 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 you gotta grind you gotta grind you gotta work you gotta work and they're like you know take some fucking breaks or whatever like you need your breaks and i'm totally agree you do need your breaks but like there's just people out there that thrive on grinding and on dominating and on working work 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 working and continuously doing stuff and that that's just what they love to do and these people that say this type of stuff i i like are they i they they just mad that someone else is working harder than them and they don't want to work that hard like it's okay if you don't want to work as hard if you don't want to grind 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 your face off but like some people do so i don't know <laughs> it sets the standard in the world yeah that you have to operate at that level to yeah. be competitive right definitely because so, it's yeah because it's competitive so they want the competition to come down yeah that's the way i would perceive it Unless they're really, really, really adamant on on like public health, but then they need to write, be writing papers and providing facts and everything and just letting the world consume it, right? Yeah. Like that's what you make change if you're trying to do things like that. Yeah, Not just barking, right? But even then, like you say, you thrive like doing this stuff. So if somebody did something like that and and wrote a public health. Oh, there is. There's actually it. a. If you live a sedentary lifestyle, you have a 16 percent chance of dying early. A what lifestyle? A six, there's like a 16 percent chance of like you having health complications long term. If you, what? it's like something like that. If you're a grind, grind, grind. Or like you live 16 percent less and less long. It's something like that. If you live a sedentary lifestyle. What is that? Where you're sitting all day. Oh. Right. So, like I already know that. <laughs> yeah, but sure what is, what is, what is the like, percentages oh, damn, like? Because like, people who sit all day still stand and exercise and walk around and like, what is? I don't know. Well, I think if you're sitting like more than eight hours a day, not like moving around and doing stuff, I think that equates to a sedentary lifestyle. I try to like mm. apply it to like a normal person, not just a grinder grinder person who would like be at the computer sixteen hours a day mm. or eighteen hours a day. Yeah, but you, I mean, this is this might be. Uh, Whatever, it's raw. Like, do you really want to live to be 100 years old? Like, I don't know. Well, I, do, I, I would want If wanna... I'm feeling okay, that's the, that's what it comes down to, so... If, if I'm... Like, I would want to live as long as possible if I can continue doing what I'm doing because mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like anybody who, who, who I can gather under my wing can just do what they love for as long as they can, right? So that's the way I think about it. It's like, as long as we continue gaining energy we just keep moving through life and bring people in who just want to crush and just do what they do like all of the devs who work on the team really aren't under anybody's thumb yeah not really right like there's obviously these deadlines to meet but nobody's under anybody's thumb and they just yeah you can tell they just and... enjoy what they do for the most yeah. part like they just like I, they just I, like working. I would, <laughs> yeah man and i would love to do that with thousands of people eventually maybe one day is like you have all these people who just work yeah. towards this common goal. There's a huge that, plug away. something that is huge with the whole serotonin stuff is accomplishment, like, like small accomplishments too. And when you're when you're in this creator space and like even creating something small, like it boosts your it boosts your like you just feel good creating stuff. So the more you do it, I think. But I also think people will 
you know, they'll create something and maybe it won't get the views they want. So then it immediately, that immediately gets destroyed or whatever in their mind and they're constantly battling back and forth. But uh, yeah, that sense of accomplishment just in general, like that's what boosts me. That's what keeps me going a lot. So yeah, man. So yeah, I would want to live as long as I can to continue providing for the group of people who are impacted by what we're doing. You mm -hmm. know? Whether it be whether it be just people who are like working directly for the company or even just people who are playing our games. Like it'd be so cool to have like a hundred games out there one day and everybody's kind of like able to earn revenue off of it and build a life around it if they want to. Right? Because we are in the commu the content creator time of the world i feel right and there's more people who are just providing entertainment to folks or providing a place to hang out or whatever right because we are we are getting more and more in the digital space and whether it continues going in this direction is a good question like does it continue going more and more digital or is there part of society that never wants to enter that and just stay hmm. mostly offline and just dabble online, right? Because if there's enough large, like if there's a large enough pe group of people who want to stay that way, then that mentality will remain in the world, and that's it. But if it's such a small fraction, then they're going to be forced on online, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. At least that's yeah my perspective <laughs> on things. I'm sure there's other ways to look at it. Hmm. Um. Blast these last two and call it. Raid somebody. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Ba -ba 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 Obviously, energy dictates how many streams you can play in at a time. So, are there any plans on changing the energy? Or are we staying on thirteen? I don't know. It's a good question. I've dabbled with the thoughts. I know some people want a little bit more. They want to hang out in more streams. Yeah. I'm cognizant of Tilted. Tilted is a nice like place where you can just go now and just farm up some points, right? And it's still kind of in the mix. If we start allowing more racing streams, then does that cut out Tilted? Yeah, Tilted becomes obsolete, maybe. But, I mean, still, it's those consistent points are always going to be valuable to people. I don't know. but To an extent, but if you have enough streams open... Right, that... I was going to say, like, all these tabs open, what are you going to sacrifice? A race stream or a Tilted stream? If you need to sacrifice something for whatever reason, PC, or, yeah, you know, I would love for Tilted to just grow and gain adoption in the esports world, in the competitive world. And maybe not the esports world; it doesn't have to be that big, but yeah, just a competitive scene, and then it could just become its thing. And then yeah, we just set it free. Fly, little birdie, fly. You don't need, you It'd don't need to be on the season anymore. <laughs> And then it just does, right? And just does its thing. Or it stays on the season. And then, but it, this, the scene for Tilted is the competitive scene. It's, a, it's getting there. I mean, I keep thinking like, it's like, oh yeah, we're like, we're like right there. Yeah. You know? And I don't I'm know, starting <laughs> to see the diversity in this. Like, do you, do you notice the diversity now in like runs? It's really hard to see the same thing twice. Mm -hmm, definitely. Like it's getting to that point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need a few more tiles at the top end. We need to, I think we need a few more tiles at the bottom end. And once we have enough rotation, the game's like diverse diverse enough that somebody does 10 runs and they don't see the same thing twice no matter what. Unless they run the same seat, of course, right? Mm. But I think that's like that's the point the game needs to really gain mass adoption for the like for that scene, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then there's that that idea of the this is all from energy. That's hilarious. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but for the tilted scene, like the idea of that where the track keeps generating ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Right. I think monkey dropped it recently. Mm -hmm. um, 
it keeps generating ahead of you and just keeps getting harder and harder. It's like a run, basically. It's like a platform, like, you, know? like you know, like run. Mario, you go forward, but you can't go back. Like, the yeah, yeah, level yeah. just keeps going forward. <laughs> yeah, it can just fall out from under, underneath you, like maybe three or four tiles back. So mm -hmm. you can't go that far back, and then yeah. you just keep going forward. I think that version of the game, and then layered with the idea of like that Tetris 99 mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. of Tilted. Yeah, dude, that'd be, I, yeah. The, yeah. I think if we merge that, oh, man. that's... It'd be so juicy. <sighs> It's juicy, right? It's so then juicy. <laughs> I think I think that frame of the game is the frame that really propels it. And you could do one v one matches, like you could do anything with that because you're in, like it's not levels. Levels is kind of what holds it back a little bit because it right. creates this weird dynamic, right? Of everybody having to get in every time, so you're waiting for that. And if you're not, then you're on simulation. It's just like whatever. Well, and right? then I mean, as sad as it might be, this could be the thing that like launches it away from being a part of this get points from it whatever and it creates its own actual thing you know it's like get it away from the whole racing and leaderboard shit and let it become what it is mm -hmm. as opposed to being quote unquote tied down to like i feel like it, it's tied down right now because of the leaderboard and the points and that's like that's what people the majority i would say the majority are going there for that but like tilted is so much more than that i think i agree yeah so like i think that that step would be so huge for him. But it will it would create that I don't know how you would do it anyway if you were to try to keep it on the leaderboard with just one continuous level and points and everything like that. So I feel like it would create this immediate cutoff of if it went oh, that yeah. route, you know? Well that could be maybe we branch the game at that point and becomes its own thing. And that's the game. Oh, it gets that's another point, stuff, speed running. Right? What would be speed running? in tilted after if it was moved to that oh so yeah so I, I wouldn't remove the old version of tilted. Oh, okay 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 yeah 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 that's what i was just thinking like you leave the old tilted in the game in marbles on stream and then you have new 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 tilted <laughs> new new as it's maybe its own product on steam mm. and like it's just tilted nah, that, yeah that's right? good yeah and that then yeah good. that's the generation and right. yeah it can be fun um, just wanted to read this from chat. Want to have value for both racers and streamers. All the tabs doesn't support uh, all the streams. There's a cap that Twitch recognizes, so raising energy might not be the way. Yeah, I think that's always going to be an issue for people who are really grinding marbles, you know, because you're always going to be in more than three, four tabs if you're really grinding marbles. Um, people who are aware, it's good to it's good to spread that knowledge. I feel like as long as you have the right information about it, because we don't know how many streams exactly it is three, maybe four. Um, you can definitely mute the stream. I'm pretty sure. I don't know about pausing the stream. I don't think you can pause the stream, but just in general, when I'm when I'm out there marbling, I try not to go in more than like three, four streams at the most. Just because I know that, and I'm not mega grinding, so... But if I was mega grinding, it would just be like, I'm playing the game, so sorry, like... As much as I want to support you, I'm playing the game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I don't know. I kind of like where energy is at, personally. If it were to change, it would be whatever, but... Personally, I just like where it's at. I think it's a good number at the moment. Yeah. Of, like, streams you can be in. Yeah, I think it's like three or four, Tony, I'm pretty sure. But, again, <laughs> three or four, <laughs> two. Um, okay, last thing a -ling, and then we'll raid somebody. I know in the store they have daily and hourly skins, but only daily modifiers. Is there a way we could implement hourly modifiers for people that possibly couldn't get a certain modifier they wanted and they are stuck waiting daily on the rollback of the store before they can get a certain modifier they want? Whew! Mouthful. That's the way it works. Yeah, that's the way it works, I guess. But there are a lot more modifiers these days. Clearly not not as many as there are Marvel skins. <laughs> not nearly. There's not that many. There's more than... Uh, there used to There's be. more than 30. So it'd be more than a month of waiting if it went one by one through the list, but it doesn't go that way. <laughs> mm. So you could be waiting months. It's just to keep that drip feed on, right? Like, hey guys... A little cheese here. Want some cheese? I like cheese. Who doesn't? Cheese. Modifier drop Somebody, during roll. I saw a comment in chat somewhere and I was like, 
Hmm. It was like Pixel really knows how to keep you pulling the arm of the slot machine. It was like something like that. I don't think that was the exact wording, but that was essentially it. I was like, it's true then. That's it's interesting perspective. It's true. It's true. But that's a, any good dev like, does that, think, right? Any good dev well, gets people think, to keep like, coming back and doing down. things. It's not a goal of mine is like yeah. to come back. Like to me, it's just creating a fair system that is just everybody. It's the same for everybody. Yeah. You know, like hands off from the devs kind of idea. Like even the shop, we'll force stuff into the shop usually for like day one or do two of the season. Or if there's like a special event or something, like I think MSLA will push out the car. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's completely hands off from devs. It's all random. And I just like systems like that because it's dehumanized. Like it's just like, here's this system and it just goes. We're not trying to take advantage of everybody, anybody. Like we're not trying to do anything weird like that. It's just like, here's the system. We'll, we might advance it in the future and change things, but yeah. I like the idea of systems being like that as hands off. Mostly when it impacts, like it could impact addiction and stuff, right? True. Like it's just like, here's this. And if I provided you the whole shop in a way, it's telling you to buy everything. And so I w I'm fine with people being mad and can't get what they, they want on the day of. And maybe they buy one thing that day instead of five. And then they don't play the game for another month. And to me, like they'll feel better than coming in, spending a hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. And then like buying a whole bunch of crap and then <clears throat> regret it later or something. Yeah, they're not really into the game, or maybe they played a couple races and they got hooked. Like, or something else comes no... out that they didn't see that they want, or yeah, like anything. there's nothing saying like pushing you to shop or anything. Like, right? We barely advertise it. We don't like try to incentivize you to go shopping every day or anything, right? Yeah. It's just it's there, of course. That's our only revenue model. We'd probably make more if we advertised in even a little bit. I mean, like maybe we just like, I'm just thinking maybe the modifiers don't necessarily need to be on a rotation since there's only 30, I guess. You could just be like, here's the modifiers. Have at it. With the skins, there's like so many, but I think dude, people would be so overwhelmed. Would, would be available. Say you what? could spend you could spend so much if they were all available. All the mod modifiers. Keys. Yeah, true. So you're looking at $20 times. Yeah, Pixel's trying to help you guys, OK? Like it's literally limit limiting like. The thinking of this, and you can like you can ask the team this, is when we did this, it was the shop is too much. People are complaining that they have to spend too much. Yeah, that was the conversation. It wasn't let's make more money. Yeah, and that that wasn't the conversation whatsoever. So it's like it was just like we we need to limit the shop because we're pumping in too much stuff, and we're, and we're presenting too much tie to the with the rev share. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> So we we rev share. There's now rev share codes, and everything in the shop is released. Go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, Pixel. Let's go. Yeah, everything's ten percent off. Yeah, we've never we've never done a sale either. Because that just creates the mentality of waiting for the sale. To me, mm. that's what it is. Like we did that. I ran a Minecraft server for like five years and we did that. We would do sales and then we started seeing like people just would wait for the sale. When's that next and sale that's coming? Cool. Is there another yeah, sale coming? When's the next sale coming? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. And so in the digital space, I just think like there's the price and we change prices, then we change prices. But other than that, sales are. the bun Honestly, the bundle's where it's at, man. Like, yeah. That's, monthly sale. Yeah. That's the monthly sale. Yeah, like for, Fortnite does it really good. Like they just curated, like hand curated. Cut, like it seems like there's new shit every day. Right? It's insane. Right? It's insane. It's just like, they got to have so many people working on that stuff probably. Yeah. I mean, it's smart. Yeah. Imagine that shop was just random though. It just rotated randomly. The mm. stuff that would pop up in that thing, it'd be so crazy. Like, what are we, uh, five years in now at this point? Like, it came mm. out before Marbles. I know that. So six years, seven years of Fortnite? All that stuff? 
Woo! Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out. Damn. We're, we're going to cross. I know, right? Guys, thanks for coming out to Raw. Thanks for your input and listening, as always. Um, I might throw this up on YouTube. I don't know. I've been I've been lazy on YouTube because I've been being a dad and stuff. And today's a work day though. Thanks guys. Uh, go give Krost some love. He's a great dude. He likes to tell. He's got a kitty on his. He's got a little. He's got a little uh, kitten on his desk. Holy moly! Oh, Thanks really? Pixel. Thanks for having me, dude. Yeah. See you guys later tonight, tomorrow, next draw, whenever. See Marble you your face. Side. The prize is going to be me doing that face. Let's get out of here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>